Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Aisha and today we have a good old collective hygiene haul. So, whew, this is the second video I'm filming today. But I, if you guys saw my Instagram, I put a poll out of what you guys wanted to see from me as I come back to my YouTube after a month off. So I filmed my empties, I got that up first because that was the thing that had the most votes and whew, it had a lot of votes. Second was the Q&A and chat video which... I'm actually filming later, like it's actually January the 24th today, um, so I'm filming that a little bit later because obviously I need some time to build up some questions and ask you guys um, and just kind of build up what you guys want to chat about in that video. <sighs> but my room is, looks crazy, there was empty boxes everywhere, haul boxes everywhere, collection videos to film, project use it up, so I'm kind of using this weekend to get everything that has like physical content to it out of the way and then I can do the Q&A with just like a clear mind and background and just room and everything and gives you time to ask me questions so this is actually the third most voted for video but the second one I'm filming so technically it was the body shop haul that got the next most votes and then the Bath and Body Works haul like together they sort of got like similar votes but still um not as many as the Q&A and the empties so I did have a body shop haul, however, because it was such a long time ago and I picked up things for other people and gifts and things, it kind of dwindled and I just thought actually let's just do what I've bought since my break to show you guys because not only did I break, take a break from YouTube, I took a, a break from buying things, from watching videos, reviews, Instagram, like I really stepped back from that world, um, especially with things like the Valentine's Day launches and the spring launches coming up. Um, it was kind of just hard to bring myself to sit and watch those things. Um, I'm trying not to talk about personal situations on YouTube too much. Separate kind of what's been going on in the background from YouTube, but it's hard because things tend to bleed through, you know? Um, I didn't want to be watching Valentine's videos, I didn't want to watch in the spring calls, and anyway. So, I have done myself some shopping, I have done, um, so I just thought I would do everything that I've kind of bought since. So, we have an in-store Bath & Body Works purchase. We have an online Bath & Body Works purchase. We have a in-store TK Maxx haul. And then we have some of the tree hut scrubs. So I'll start with the tree hut scrubs. I will start with the TK Maxx stuff first. So you saw on my Instagram, I'm on, always updating where we can find some of our favorite US goodies in England, here in the UK. So um, Beauty Box, is it Beauty Box? No, I need to correct myself on that. Um, Beauty Bay. Is it Beauty Bay? I don't know, I'll correct myself here. I think it's Beauty Bay, right? The stockist. They started stocking Tree Hut products at £18. Now, I know some of us, we, <laughs> we get really excited and things, but if you just, sometimes you gotta delve a bit deeper. Um, because TK Maxx has also been stocking Tree Hut products really randomly. So when I typed in, had a little look, saw that Beauty Bay, yeah, did a restock on the Tree Hut scrubs, I thought, Let's just triple tech TK Maxx. If that stock's here, landed here in the UK, maybe they got a share of it. And they did. So I went online and there was so many available. And the TK Maxx price is just $9.99, whereas the Beauty Bay is 16 to 18. So if you can get one TK Maxx, it's so much worth it's so it's it's just a better deal. You have got to pay for click and collect, which is a bit frustrating. If you want to bank on finding them in store, you could just keep searching your stores. But when I went into collect, I had a little look around the hygiene section and I didn't have any tree hut products. But they did have some other goodies that I picked up. So we'll go through the tree huts first. So they had a really big selection online. They had the vanilla, the vitamin C, they had the pineapple, they had a load of others that I'm kind of regretting not picking them up. But if I'm really desperate, I'll do it again. It's just that click and collect fee that kind of annoys me. But anyway, so these were all $9.99. So first one I picked up was Desert Haze. I have seen so much about this on the internet and I have heard that it is a fragrance dupe of the Into the Night scent from Bath & Body Works. Now, if you guys know anything about my channel and Into the Night, Into the Night is my sister's like signature scent. It's her favourite scent. We buy her a set every birthday, every Christmas. Every time we're over in the US we pick her up a set. She loves it. So obviously I had to pick up the scrub and see if it was similar. Um, and if she's watching this, this definitely isn't a birthday present for you. So don't even, don't even think that. You know, definitely not. So let's give this a sniff. I love this like purple, like off purple colour. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is into the night. I think the like blend of the notes is slightly different in this. 
but you smell it and you do immediately go, yeah, into the night. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> that is so good. I'm so glad I picked this up maybe for her to try. Um, so yeah, that one is the Desert Haze. Then we have the Coco Colada. So this one was the one my mum picked out. She picked this up because she loves a good coconut scent. And she's tried the pineapple, she's tried the lemon, and she's tried the strawberry, I think. So it was time to give the coconut a go. She sniffed this and her face wasn't too impressed. So I don't know if I should be expecting good things or not. Hmm. Okay. You know, sometimes when coconut scents can come across waxy, if they're not strong enough. Hmm. This, you can almost smell, like, the the goop, like, the, whatever the scrub is set in. It smells a little bit waxy. Okay, so on the front there's a picture of, like, a coconut and then it looks like a pineapple. So it's made with shea butter, pineapple and coconut. I would say the thing that I'm mainly smelling would be the shea butter, that kind of, like, waxy smell. And then slight coconut and maybe sweetness from the pineapple. Okay, that's not wowed me. That's probably like the most disappointed I've ever been in a tree hut scrub. Um, but yeah, I still love the formula. And then we picked up a strawberry. So we were kind of like, I was sat doing an order and I was just explaining like, my mum was like, ooh, they smell salmon. Um, and she kind of mentioned the strawberry. So she picked the strawberry out. I'm sure we'll all get love out of these scrubs. But yeah, kind of this one is for her. Yeah, I do like the strawberry. It's definitely an artificial strawberry. It kind of smells like a crayon a little bit. And it's kind of got like a peachy undertone. It's fruity and yeah, she'll, she'll love it. So this one is for hydrated youthful looking skin with shea butter, strawberry and bitter hydroxy salic acid. She'll love that youthful. <laughs> and then the, I didn't even say the desert haze one says made with shea butter, cactus flower and raspberry extract. Uh, Stay in Raspberry, the Into the Night in the Scent Notes has Raspberry Noir, so yeah, a similar one. And then I picked out the Peach Sorbet. Oh my gosh, I was so shocked and excited when I saw this because this hasn't long been out in the US and it takes a little while for scents to come over. But yeah, it came over and I was so excited and I love the packaging on these. I have the cotton candy one, which is kind of like the similar packaging but in the pink. There we go, this one's kind of been resting on its side a bit. <laughs> okay. This smells like artificial again. It smells like peach gummies. Yeah, it smells good. It's fruity, it's fresh, it's peachy. I'm not gonna complain, but it does have like an artificial note to it, but I just love these scrubs so much. I'm kind of regretting not picking up the vitamin C and the pineapple because I love the pineapple and I will have as many backup as then as I can. And then I have the vitamin C body water, so I kind of wanted the scrub. So I think if I, cause I'm, I'm not saying I'm disappointed by these, I'm just a little bit underwhelmed by most of them. Um, I might treat myself to the pineapple and the vitamin C, but yeah. These are just like really artificial fruity scents. The Coco Colada, I'm just not really getting much scent from. And then the Desert Haze is the Into the Night, which I'm happy about and my sister will love. Okay, that's those. So my in-store pickup. I found so many goodies. Um, so I'll kind of just whiz through this a little bit, but I am going to do a full dedicated video. So if you guys, I'm sure you've heard if you're in like the hygiene realm of social media, that the body shop has gone into administration. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about what that means and what that means to me and whatever. Um, it's just a little bit of a rubbish situation, but it just means like get out there and support your stores. That's all I'm going to say for now. I am going to do a video of like my favorite, I don't know whether to do like my favourite body shop products or like my favourite clean, beauty, sustainable products, which they're all going to be body shop anyway. So I think, and I think within that video, I will kind of address what's going on and my thoughts, my views um, and things. So yeah, I'm going to do kind of like my favourite body shop, maybe like my top 10 body shop products. I don't know. I definitely want to do a video dedicated to the body shop because whatever happens either way, whatever the outcome is, is... I want to celebrate the love that I have for the body shop. But anyway, so recently, um, I don't know, it was about two years ago, the body shop signed kind of like a little deal with the um, TK Maxx that they would pass on to sell any of their old like discontinued products or like Christmas gifts that have gone out. Like the packaging has now been changed. I don't know. Just you'll notice that there's body shop items in your local TK Maxx and there are some items that are discontinued that I just love and I always check my TK Maxx for and honestly I kind of hit the body shop jackpot in the TK Maxx so oh I have two non-body body shop items I'll show you this first so all I can say is mom if you're watching this 
get out of here girl so my mum is going on a caribbean cruise next year she doesn't mention it ever it's definitely not ev mentioned in every other sentence she has <laughs> but she's so excited and i saw this and thought this would be perfect for her to take with her it's the i love bahama mama she's my mom and she's gonna be in the Bahamas. She's a Bahama mama. So I picked this out for her. It has like a little pomegranate, a mango, a coconut, a papaya. I just thought this was, was so, so cute. So I don't think it has any scent notes or anything. It just says, be transported to a faraway tropical island with our exotically scented cocktail inspired bath and shower cream. Super cute. So she can take this on her cruise with her. It smells like, oh, oh wait, it smells so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. It smells like exactly kind of what I wanted the Coco Colada to smell like. It's like pineapple-y, coconut-y, papaya. It just smells like a gorgeous fruity cocktail. So she can take these with her on her cruise and have her like tropical dream out on the cruise. Um, I just saw it and was like, it's so cute. And for three pound for this big old 500 ml, I thought that was very good. And then the other thing, cause I've been picking up like bits for Mother's Day, which is coming up soon in the UK. We have the Sanctuary Spa Melt Away Cleansing Oil. She has really been getting into her double step cleansing routine. She loves the Body Shop Caramel Cleansing Range. Um, she loves the Aldi Hot Cloth Cleanser. So I thought this would be interesting because the Body Shop doesn't do their cleansing oil anymore. They only do the gel texture and the cream texture. And she loves Sanctuary, so I thought this would be fun to pick up. It's a transforming oil to milk cleanser with vitamin E, blends of oils, gentle cleansing activities. And it was only £5 down from 12 so that's going to go in her little Mother's Day basket. And then the rest is Body Shop. There's so many other things I could have picked up, but I've restrained myself. So I picked up, I actually picked up two packets of these, but I've already used them since like between picking them up and <laughs> filming this video. I think they were even in my empties for this month. So yeah, this is the cucumber eye mask. They were $1.99 down from six. I'm devastated they discontinued these. I just don't know why. Maybe they just weren't as popular or I don't know. I love them. They are perfect. They're great for my eczema. They're great for red puffy sore eyes. They have a cooling effect. I love them. So I picked up two packets and I think if I go past and I see them again, I'll definitely pick up a couple more packets because you get two in a pack, so it's basically a pound a go, which is a good deal. And then I found this. This is the Body Shop Sleep Relaxing Hair and Body Wash. This is one of my sister's Holy Grail ranges. She loves a good lavender range. Um, and this wash is originally £14 and I got it for £2.50. The bottle is like dinged up, she won't mind, she won't care, she loves the lavender and vetiver range for £2.50, how could I pass this up? So, that was the hygiene items and then I saw these and I was like, these just are so like nostalgic. So these are the Top Knot and Tinsel Hair Bubbles, they're originally £6 and I got them for 70 pence. they are at the body shop. Um, every year the body shop will go out, come out with like these like sustainably made recycled material just like gimmicky little items and every year I would get them working in the shop I would use them as like part of my uniform and I think these came out last year and I never picked them up and I just love them I love them for like accessorizing my ponytail or just like going to bed like throwing my hair in a bun I don't know I just thought these were really cute I really like the green I've kind of been getting into like green recently and yeah for 70p how could I say no so that's everything I got in TK Maxx we're gonna jump on over to this bag because this is a little bit of a random bag. So this has some um, on buy online, pick up and store, like click and collect, Bath and Body Works items. Has a Victoria's Secret and then one miss I picked up from Vinton. So the Victoria's Secret items, we'll go through those and then we just like blend right into the Bath and Body Works. So I'll, let's be honest, there was a little bit of retail therapy going on in this last month and something that I really just wanted to bring me comfort um, because I just, yeah, I've been using my project use up but I kind of just got into like a little bit of a rut of my routines and I just thought these would be a little bit of a pick me up. So these are Victoria's Secret and they are both, well, they're both fine because of Love Spell. I have the original Love Spell, Cherry Blossom, Fresh Peach, Impossible to Resist. And then the Splash version, which is a Raspberry Glisten Peach Tea Love Spell Makes a Splash. So we'll start with the original. You guys, if you've watched any of my videos, I love Love Spell. I rediscovered it because I had a half bottle in my collection that was like knocking about from high school. Used it and got like the most ridiculous amount of comments I've ever gotten. 
scent in my life. I love it. It just must blend with my body chemistry well. It's long lasting. It's strong. Whenever I get in a car with someone or like I'm at the shops, I get compliments from like, like the retail workers. I'm on the train, in like a taxi, like my friends, my family, whenever I wear this. This is like my most complimented fragrance, I would say so. I treated myself to a new bottle because at the moment in my collection I only have dupes or knockoffs. So I just treat myself to a real bottle. And then Love Cell Splash. So I'd put this on my Instagram because the notes just sounded so fun and so me with the raspberry and the peach tea. And I saw it in the stores and I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna get it. Oh, it's so good. It's such a different peach from this one because it doesn't have the floral cherry blossom. It's a fresh peach. The raspberry gives it a tart sweetness. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be my scent of the summer, I think. So I just treated myself to these. They weren't full price, because these are full price 18 pound. 18 pound. Um, I did the two for 24, which still isn't the best deal. It takes them to 12 pound each, but I just needed some love spell in my life. And then I have a little vintage find. So let me just get my app up because this was ages ago, I don't remember. I've just been like piling bags of stuff of like hauls, project user ups. <sighs> my room is just full of videos that I haven't filmed basically. So this one was £7.29 and it is the Buttercups and Berry Bellini. So this one, it has like the tiniest bit of use but it's basically full. It's strawberry puree, buttercup flowers and bubbly prosecco. My camera is flashing at me so I need to speak quick. Oh, this is so good. This is like... The strawberry version of champagne toast. Um, this floor set, the Buttercups and Berry Bellini, and then there was like the Honeysuckle Peach Spritz Tea one, was the floor set that was out on my very first ever Bath and Body Works visit when we went to New York two years ago. So I don't know, it just holds like a special place in my heart. I've really been getting into like, but like, um, like Prosecco and champagne notes, and yeah, I just really wanted this in my collection because it's so cute and for seven pound, I couldn't say no. And then we have two candles. So you guys, if you watched my last um, Bath & Body Works next clearance sale haul, the candles went down to £10 and I've just been picking them up as they come available for Click & Collect. So I have a Vanilla Bean Noel. So this is such a classic. It has notes of fresh vanilla bean, marshmallow, fluff and vanilla cake. And it does have a cute Christmassy bauble lid. So good. Right, for someone who is not a vanilla girly, I am becoming obsessed with Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm using it in the body cream at the minute and it's incredible. Sometimes I get a slight, like, sticky, waxy kind of note. Like, sometimes it just smells like the base formula. But when you get the gourmand, sweet, sugary cookie note from Vanilla Bean Noel, it is addictive. So I'm so happy to have it in the candle. And then the other one is Tree Farm with the super cute days on there and this gorgeous mint green wax. This one has notes of crisp pine needles, warm cedar and spiced apple. Again, it has a funky lid with the snowflakes this time. Guys, oh my gosh, this is just my dream Christmas scent. Like the cider, the apple, the pine. Oh, smells so good. I'm definitely not in the Christmas mindset. I'm so excited for some warm springy weather, but Oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited to have it for the Christmas, well, this Christmas coming up. Then we have a little bit of an in-store haul. I have a little bit of a story to tell, which I'm going to tell quick because my camera is flashing at me. So, we went over to Manchester for a little weekend away. Um, just my family just took me for just a little bit of a distraction, a little bit of uh, retail therapy around the Ondale Centre and the Travis Centre, where there is now a, a standalone store in the... Trav Centre and a kind of in next door in the Arndale Centre. Now I've always said that they don't do in-store sales but this year I was proven wrong. They did. This Christmas they started doing in-store sales um, and I went at the end of January and um, kind of beginning of Feb and there were still loads left and uh, loads of reduced items. I'm not saying it's the best prices in the world but still it's sale items, it's reduced items, um, it's cheaper stuff. It made my heart so happy. I will post a load of pictures over on my Instagram so you can see the type of stuff that was on sale. Um, I could, suppose I could insert a couple here as well. So I did book out mainly hand soaps because I don't need any body care. I told myself like, you know, I picked it all up in the online sale, but when I saw these, like I was mainly just looking for stuff that I didn't see online basically. So we have the beautiful pink peach blossom in the Foman and this is in the gorgeous iridescent pale packaging. I love this collection. I almost further reduced down to five pounds and I think hand soaps are 10 pounds full 
price these days. This is Peach Nectar, Magnolia Petals and Mandarin. I could not say no to the scent. It's peachy, it's fresh, it smells like the like peach fuzz. So good. Then we have the Wild Blackberry, uh, sorry, the Wild Berry and Plum. This one was further reduced to £4 and this one is in like the faceted collection. There's no notes on this but I'm guessing it's just like berry and plum and maybe like a slight spice like a cinnamon. Yeah, it just smells so good, so wintry um, and I love the purple packaging. And then last one we have is Mojave Plum, I'm guessing that's how you say it, or Mojave Plum, I don't know. It's Hello, I'm so sorry in the change of angle and quality, my camera died and I was, I do not have time today to be waiting for it to charge. I've got videos to film, upload and edit so you're getting the last little bit bad quality, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. <laughs> It was either this or me sit around and wait for half an hour for my camera to come back on. So we were talking about Mojave Plum. So this one, yeah, was down to £4. It has the blueberries, peach nectar and touch of cinnamon. I was saying I love the purple with the gold. So cute. I loved this whole collection. And I was like, I was prepared to get this whole collection in the hand soaps because I loved the packaging so much. It was like a pear one. There's a citrus one. And I'll pop a picture here of the um, collection. But when I smelt them, this was the only one I liked. And even this one. Like, I kind of wish the cinnamon was a little bit less. Like, the, the mix of blueberry and cinnamon is a little bit weird. But it just smells like a warm, fruity mix. Like, these are very similar. Just a bit of cinnamon, a bit of fruit. Um, Really good. Kind of deceiving because they kind of look like springy packaging. But then they're more winter scents. But, yeah. So, got those ones. And then the peach one. And then I, I, I did pick up a body care item. <laughs> I saw Winterberry Wonder in the body lotion. So, this one was down from 17 to six pounds i love winterberry wonder i love this packaging of winterberry ones i really wish i could have found the shower gel but i didn't and i know i have like an odd pairing of winterberry wonder shower gels to lotion so i think this makes it like even now um yeah this one's so good it is the movie cost winterberry sparkling cranberry and crystal vanilla i love this one and then i did do the five for 15 pounds on the pocket backs but i gifted them for galentine's day so i don't have them i picked up a toasted vanilla chai a coconut lime and then i picked out the wild berry lemonade and i also got one for myself and then i picked out a fresh sparkling snow because i love fresh sparkling snow and i also loved this blue packaging so yeah these are from the new spring collection and this is obviously from the winter just gone um and these are four pounds each or you can do the five for 15 so that is everything i'm so sorry the last two minutes of this video look a bit crazy but i just wanted to make sure that this video was filmed um, and finished <laughs> even though my camera gave up on me thank you so much for watching um i hope you enjoyed let me know what you've been picking up recently because yeah i haven't been watching youtube i haven't been watching whole videos and things um but i still want to know what's out there and what's going on and i always keep it updated on my instagram so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one whatever or whatever that might be i'm working down my list of to film videos today <laughs> so i'll see you there bye